Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. Hope you are all doing awesome and wonderful. So, in our first video, we recorded metal vocals, like screaming metal vocals and clean metal vocals. And in this video, we're gonna edit them, clean them up, do all the prep before mixing. So as always, let's dig right in. Here we go. All right, so here we are in Cubase. So this is a project we use to record the vocals. Uh, vocals are done by Daniel De Jong, one of my favorite vocalists of all time, easily. And the first thing I like to do is I like to lower the volume of the, the main music, of the main mix, because I'm gonna be focusing on the vocals. So I want that to be supporting the vocals so I can hear if there are timing issues, but the most, the most important thing for me needs to be the vocals while editing the vocals. So I'm just gonna check levels. All right, now the first thing I like to do uh, is clean up all the tracks where there is no singing. Some people like to use like, um, like a pretty heavy gate so it like ducks away or removes or closes when there's like no singing. I like to be sure with this kind of stuff. So by hand, I remove everything that's silence. Just to show you, I'll like zoom in. And then for example, I press J. So I'm like in free mode. And sometimes if I want to be on the grid, I'll just simplify the grid. And for example, with this, I do it on the grid, remove it, and then grab all of it. Press J again, so it's like a free mode, like not snapping to the grid. That's a tiny bit before it, and then perhaps just a tiny fade in. That's how I like to do it. There are a million ways to do it, but that's how I like to do it. So just cleaning up all the parts where there's no singing. So for example, here, like all this part, like when I move this fader to like zoom in on the waveform, all that kind of noise probably won't hear it in my mix, but I just want to make sure that I'll just cut it out rather than a year later listening to a mix and hear some unwanted breath or something. And sometimes what I like to do is, for example, here in between, I'll just snap it here in between, do like a small fade here, drag this, drag this one over here, and then do a small fade over there. Can we? That kind of stuff. So I'll do that for all the vocals and with the magic of editing, I'll be back in a couple of seconds, like one, two, just like that. All right, so all the vocals have been edited, as you can see. Everything is nicely cut up. Uh, there are no unwanted breasts or anything, like these gaps that were here in between. Just cut that away, same thing here. Like there's no singing in there, so I don't need that. So instead of hoping for the best that a gate will uh, work if I would do that, I'd rather have um, the insurance of no audio there. All right, so there are a bunch of tracks that I don't need. So I remove them. And then I'll first go into the screaming. So I'm gonna mute the cleans and I'm gonna listen just to the vocals if there's anything fishy or iffy going on. So I hear that this part is a tiny bit early. Like back at the time, that kind of thing. And I want to make I want to make clear, like there are no rules with this, this whole thing. It's all about the vibe and the feel and the whole thing you want to have with the band. For me, with this, with like this, these videos, I'm just going to show what I would do normally and perhaps a tiny bit extra. But for example, when I listen to this, to this part, I just feel it's a bit early. I'm not going to let my eyes decide what I'm going to do. I feel it's a bit early. So I'm just gonna try to fix it a tiny bit. Let's see how this feels. That to me sounds way better. 
All right, so that's cool. So I remember during trekking, and I didn't make notes, but normally I make notes with this kind of thing, so I won't forget because I have very bad memory. But I remember that this wasn't needed. It was mainly about from here on these two dark bluer, bluer uh, tracks to, to this. So I'm just gonna cut this away and just make sure it's a tiny fade. It's always good to, to double check this because as in real life, I forgot to edit that. So, but the mouth keeps spitting, what he sings here. Feels a bit early. So I'm just gonna stuck them both and like, do like the slip edits, so like control, alt, and then drag it over a tiny bit. See how it feels, again. That feels better. So what I do sometimes, and I most of the time do this on clean vocals, but also on screaming vocals. So on the top right over here, we have this audio alignment tool. So I'll listen to the best one first. But the mouth gets better. But the mouth gets better. But the mouth gets better. And I think this one is still a bit too early. So I'm gonna drag the tiny bit over. But then I like the top one, so Press the plusy thing, then I'll select the other one, press that, and then I'll do this align and see or listen how it sounds. But this 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 is used so much, I can't even like I, I wouldn't do I wouldn't know what I would do without this thingy. But the mouth gets better. That sounds good to me. And you can like change the percentage, but I put it on hundred. Some people might say, like, well now it's unhuman. To me, no one's <laughs> like no one's gonna listen like when this gets released or something and listen to it. Okay, yeah, that, that, that mental guy who makes it, he put it on 100% on that part of the vocals. It's a more of a, like an emotion kind of thing. Does it sound good? Move on. That's it, for me at least. So these are triplets. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I could edit this like, like perfectly if I want to, like perhaps even cut out like each syllable. For example, so I when I go to triplets, and then like like cut out every syllable and like move them around so it's pitch perfect. Depends on the song, but I like how it sounds now, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. So then we have this part. So I think there's a one small S kind of off. And I think it's the top one. That sounds better. So now the last screaming vocals, and after this we'll go to the, the cleans. Okay, so I see I forgot, and again, this happens, but I forgot to do like a small fadey kind of thing here. And I think it could be a bit closer to when the vocal starts. But to double check, let's just, let's just listen to it. That's fine by me. All right, I like how it sounds. So let's go to the cleans now, like in the chorus. Cool, I like how it sounds, I like how it feels. I think there's something kinda iffy like around the last chord he sings. So I think that would normally be the only thing I'll, I'll fix. But I think vibe wise, so I grew up with a lot of like late 90s, like mid to late 90s, early 2000 pop 
which I absolutely adore. And in that genre, you have those like pitch perfect in your face vocals. And I love that sound. I love to incorporate those, like those vocals into a metal mix, like modern pop, like punchy vocals, pitch perfect, time perfect. So again, normally I think in this situation, I could leave it. I would be happy with that. But because with this song, I really like, like I got really inspired to have that perfect pop vocals. So I'm gonna like align all the vocals perfectly 100% just for that effect. And it really depends on the song. But in this moment, I really wanna do that. One thing I also noticed, so that first word on this one is a bit low. And instead of let the compressor do most of that work, I like to just cut it up a tiny bit, see how it sounds if I just move that one syllable like a couple dB up. And with a couple dB, that's around 10 decibels. But uh, let's listen. So you can hear the volume difference, but you can also hear that kind of like, because this one's a bit louder and this one's a bit lower. So let's see if we just drag those things along. And if I take a listen now, perhaps a tiny bit lower. So let's say, I don't know, nine decibels. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to audio align everything 100%. I'm going to first check out which take I like the most. Okay, that one sounds fine by me. So again, the audio alignment tool, and I'm going to press that one and then this one align 100%. That one align 100%, align 100%. And again, don't instantly like do this. This is like a certain effect I want. Like I explained, I love pop music. I love 90s, like late 90s pop, early 2000, pitch perfect vocals. So before I gonna align these, I first gonna render them just like that. And then I'll take the top one, again, audio alignment. And I'll zoom out a little so you can see what's happening. So now I'm going to align everything 100% to the top one. Let's take a listen. Cool, that sounds good to me. I'm just gonna cut off a tiny bit of those ends. Just like that, that should be good. All right, so this, I'll rather do some cutting by hand. Let me just see. So this one's a tiny bit early. To be honest, I think I'll skip this on the aligning because I really like, I know it's not 100% perfect. I loved it on this one. It is time for revision, set our difference aside, desegregation, integrity will revive. Like I can slightly hear that this one and this one, and I believe, this one as well is like a tiny bit off, but I like that swell emotion I get. And you might cringe, but again, like mixing for me personally is an emotional thing to do. So I'm not gonna edit that uh, or align that at all. That re, how that comes in. And I'm not gonna touch that, but pitch wise, I do want to fix this. So what I like to do sometimes is select all of them, just like that. And over here, I can select each of those vocals. So I already corrected this one. 
So then I go to the different one, edit very audio. And this is such a cool function because I can see all the takes in one screen. So he's singing an F chord, I believe here, F A C. Yeah, there we go. So I select all the C's, quantize 100%, perhaps tiny bit straighten curve. And then we have the F note, quantize pitch, and slightly straighten curve. And how does it sound? Much better in my opinion. And with these vocals, I'm gonna do the alignment thing again because this is where I wanna have that a really tight, tight vocal line. Like, remember what I said, like 90s pop? I guess today's pop has the same thing. So it's like that one, that one, align, that one, align, and that one, align. All right, I'll take a listen to that one. All right, so I like what's uh, how like I like how it sounds. So I'm just gonna take a final listen of the whole thing. All right, I like how it sounds. I do think that this part is a tiny bit early. So I'm just gonna like drag it a tiny bit to the left. Perhaps that's even too much. Let's take a listen. Yeah, it's too much. So I'm gonna drag it a tiny bit back. Just like that. I like how it feels. All right, so those are some very basics of editing like metal vocals and clean vocals in, the, in general. So in the next videos, we're gonna mix the screaming vocals and mix the clean vocals in a metal mix. So see you then, and see you next time. Cheers.